today I've reached the pinnacle of sharing my knowledge with MRU and other places. And uh, now I've become uh, kind of like the old elders looked at me when I gave them when I finished the journey. He says, Mick, see them. You are now, you're now going to get your PhD. They must have seen something. I says, okay. Then when this honor came, I automatically thought of my, my, uh, my elders that guided me. They were right on the money. So it's a special day. And I'm dedicating it to my late wife, who passed on in March 19th. She was a teacher at a high school on a, at Siksika. So there's so many things that flash through my mind, but it makes me proud. And all the more, I stand on stage for those 215 children. It's horrible in a sense that uh, I could not connect with my language to soothe my pain. I couldn't cry because they told you, you can't cry. So my emotions was hidden inside of me someplace and I had to find it. But most happiest moment I had when I, I was, I was, when I left there, I was going home, I wasn't coming back. And uh, I looked back and I says, well, you didn't get the best of me. I'm still alive. My spirit is still with me. Uh, today is kind of a nervous moment. They say, I walk and I say, this is an institution. But at least this institution has appreciated everything that I have done, everything that I have shared, and the family that I have here. So wherever I go now, it's like going to a new family. Elder McSeekham, as we know him on our campus, has been a huge part of our campus uh, for a lot of years, longer than I have been. Uh, and he offers a lot of spiritual support and interpersonal support to Indigenous students and to even the occasional president who uh, finds his way to him. For an honorary doctorate, uh, it's the highest honour that we have at the university. Uh, it's really uh, in terms of service uh, to Calgary, service to the community, service to the nation. And uh, often, you know, we award these to business leaders, we award these to, you know, the scions of corporate life, but sometimes we have the opportunity to award them to a little closer to home and uh, Clarence has been just a huge part of our campus community and we're so honored to be able to do this for him.